Hey, reminder, this Wednesday night, big fundraiser for the University of Hawaii Warrior Men's Volleyball team right here at the Stan Sheriff Center. Come on in and uh, meet the gang. A lot of great food and drink and an opportunity to support the team. Go to hawaiiathletics.com and then click on Men's Volleyball to get details about tickets. $50 and you get a lot of good food and drink for that. And then on Friday, February 1st, it's the first ever Greek night. Put on your toga and <laughs> come and root on the Warriors. You gonna wear a toga for that one? I think uh, I think Mr. Lofi will, <laughs> for sure. I, I would think so. That's against Stanford, by the way. They're next to pay a visit here at the Stan Sheriff. Sukovic, that's off the touch, and a big point for Hawaii. Looks like it'll be a blocking sub coming in right now. Max Wexen will come in for Joby Ramos. Wexing, of course, was the starting setter. And he picks up five inches in terms of the block. He's at 6'6", six, six. Joby Ramos is 6'1", but Wexing had that sore shoulder against UCLA, didn't play that last night. And Ramos was there and engineered that victory, and he's kind of been in there ever since. Torres and Torres is Ruth by Siki Sarkovic. Look at that. He goes down into the thinking man pose. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Siki's starting to show some personality. Oh, boy, is he. What a huge play and a huge point in this match. Watch, what? watch for a repeat to Torres. I think uh, West knows that Torres gets mad when he gets blocked. He'll come back even angrier. Good serve by Sador. They go to Taylor, and Taylor blocked but unable to turn it back into the court. Point. So he went to another up. angry attacker on the pin. And that's Josh Taylor who wants to bring up his average. He's had a slow start tonight, but now he's playing much, much better for Taylor. Kill number seven. And this is where you need the side out if you are Hawaii. You get the side out here, and then you serve for the set at 24-22. Big point for Hawaii. The best server. And here it is, the set. And Taylor Aver out of the middle gets the side out in Hawaii in 24-22. Has a chance to serve for the set and take a two games to none lead into the locker room. That was Pepperdine's best rotation, best blocking rotation. They had blockers up on April. I don't know how he got it through because I thought the block was well formed. Siki back to serve. And when he goes back there, they break into that staccato applause. Taylor blocked. Setting up. Torres off the block. Sador chases it down. JP Marks and Hawaii with the set. Coming up huge. Burger. All righty, Pack. At the Stan Sheriff Center. Chris, let's take a look at these. Match stats after two sets. Well, the the most obvious thing that comes up is obviously the kills. Uh, Hawaii's got more kills than Pepperdine. Those those uh, translate into points. Hawaii also hitting for a good kill percentage at 290. You know, before this they were hitting 170. So over the two nights, you know, they're hitting over 300 put together. So I know Charlie Wade's really happy with the offense. Blocks, Pepperdine still dominated at the net 10-7 over Hawaii. That's not unexpected. And the aces to errors, Pepperdine still yet to get an ace. That's a tribute to Hawaii's passers. Hawaii gotten, has gotten uh, three aces. Uh, and, and that's a tribute, I think, to Hawaii servers who just get back there and just wail away every time they swing. So uh, what an interesting match. I didn't expect it to be 2-0 at, at the break. I'll tell you that right now. If you'd asked me a couple hours ago, I would have said no. <laughs> would not have been 2-0 at the break. Uh, but I also expect that um, this third set for Hawaii is going to be the most difficult set to win of all both nights put together. It's going to be the most difficult to win. Yeah, we go back to that conversation that you and I had, and the one that I had with Charlie Wade, and I said, 
how much more difficult is it to win the second night, even if you're at home after winning the first? He says, exponentially, it's huge. He goes, every coach would say that. And everybody is excited, the prospect of being up two sets to none. But you got a lot of caution here because <laughs> You can very well see us going five again tonight. Yeah. This Pepperdine team it's is so good. good. It's, it's, it's too good. It's too well, you know, well coached. They're in great shape. They run big sand dunes in Malibu and run big hills back there. Yeah. Mark yeah. Dunphy gets these guys in amazing shape so that they can go five easily. It's, that's not going to be hard for them. And Hawaii players are in great shape as well. So Toby Ramos serves it up to start. And the first point goes to Hawaii as J.P. Marks does it again, coming up with a huge block. J.P. Mark just has something with him and Wesley. That's the fourth time in two nights that uh, Marks has gotten the better of Maurice Torres. Toby Ramos back to serve it up for Hawaii. Finally, he gets a little bit of noise behind him. Again, Felipe Barrow and Garrett's kind of bumping into each other at the point Hawaii, as a net violation is called against Pepperdine. And that's the second time that we've seen Fluger and Garrett's kind of collide with one another. And Hawaii with a couple of natural points to start off this third set. And the serve by Ramos, a good one, and it's a service ace as he takes it off the table. Fluger unable to get to it. And you know what? Sometimes things just go your way. And Friday, a lot of balls went Hawaii's way. And tonight, well, things looking pretty good. Up two sets to none, up three points to none here in the third set. Ramos back to serve it up again for Hawaii. Again off the tape. Setting it up over the middle. And that time, the winner. By Pepperdine comes right at us and ricochets off Chris's computer monitor, his TV monitor here. A great start for Hawaii here in the third set. Back to serve it up will be Antoniewicz. Antoniewicz uh, did a nice job cutting the ball back there to get that kill and stop the bleeding for Pepperdine. JP Marks splitting the block. J.P. Mark's been hitting on the right side all year long, and all of a sudden now he's been playing more left side for ball handling purposes and because he likes it better on the left for the most part. So when he gets the sets on the right, he's very comfortable over there now because he's done so much of it during the fall and during the, uh, during the preseason here. So Hawaii with the 4-1 to one advantage here in the third set. J.P. back to serve it up for the Warriors. So close, right off of that tape, top of the net, side out, and Torres to serve it out for Pepperdine. But if you've never been to Pepperdine, it really is the University of Malibu, such a beautiful place. And there is Jared Lofi right behind him, and you talked about it. Yep, <laughs> you know that Jared would be in his ear. Brooks the door, takes it off the high hand. So that's a side out point for Hawaii. Say, for those of you at home watching, it's worth it coming to come down here and watch Jared Lofi, watch this terrific team that are that are amazing servers and a lot of color and guys like Siki. That ball is out. And a rare mistake by Kalbach. Parker Kalbach out of the middle, just tried to bite off a little bit too much angle, hit it wide, and Hawaii leads it six to two. The Kalbach rarely makes an error. That was Amazing that he hit that one out. Garrett, Joby Ramos gets a hand up there to keep it alive. JP saves it and then Siki rolls it over. Blocked by Averill. Garrett goes up off the high hand. Siki puts it up. Ramos to set up Brooks Sador who kind of hangs in midair. And that ball kept alive by Pepperdine. And that ball is hit out. Josh Taylor flying in from the back row, hits it wide. Her Hawaii goes up by five. And Mark Dumphy says, I've seen enough. Give me a timeout. Hawaii rolling 
Pirates for three. All right, we bring it back with a look at the mid-pack petroleum leaderboard, Friday night kill leaders. And you see Maurice Torres out of Pepper 919, but then Siki right there. Brooke Sador had himself a career match. Siki keeps it alive. Joby Ramos chases it down, and Siki launched that one. Looking for the touch, does not get the call. That'll be a side out point Pepperdine. Siki knew that he bit off more than he could chew there. I'm sure he was doing the right thing, trying to hit the high hands, but he did not uh, have to go that high and hard. Charlie Wade having a conversation with Dixon Chun. Not sure exactly what it's about. And uh, Verna Kudnikin. Up position, kind of looking very intent. I'm sure one she would have too. Yeah, she would have blown her whistle had that conversation gone on much yeah. longer. I'll tell you that. She Charlie was, just wants some clarification on overlaps and rotations. Yeah. But she was staring it down from uh, up there on the ladder. Sarkovich with the hammer. Big swing, and Hawaii back up by five. Right, Siki goes from one hit that, that was not very sharp to one that is very sharp cross court. Well, he's got so much game, so much international experience. Only 18 years old. He speaks some pretty good English if you watch the, if you watch the, yeah. uh, the pregame. Works the door with a strong serve. And he is just a bit of force from behind the serving line. Good block by Hawaii. Hawaii's going to get a pretty good opportunity. They don't even need to get the opportunity. Josh Taylor from the back row hits it into the net. And Hawaii is up 9-3, to three, and the waves have gone flat here in set number three. So Dorr back to serve, and he is fast becoming one of Hawaii's best servers, unquestionably. Get him, Taylor. Another good serve, and on the over. You know, I'd rather see Joey Ramos get a kill like that than his little dump shots that sometimes get go down and sometimes they don't. And uh, an overpass like that. The one thing th that he forgot to do, though, was he forgot to point to Brooks the door and say, hey, Brooke, thank you. You are the guy <laughs> who deserves all the credit. And there he just did. Because the server is the one who really deserves the credit, forces up this overpass. 10 3 Hawaii. And set number three on a Pro Bowl weekend in Honolulu. And, oh, what a pro-style performance by the Warriors so far, knocking off these second-ranked waves on Friday and, dare we say, staring down the possibility of a three-set sweep tonight. But they got a lot of work in front of them. And Taylor April on cue with the block in the middle. And Hawaii goes up 11 to 3. And Marv Dumpy is going to call his second and final timeout. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more. Let's take a look at uh, how it works. Watch Taylor Averill here. He does what's called a commit block. He's going to be committed to Parker Kalmbach, who's hurt Hawaii so much in the last two nights. Taylor Averill says to himself, you know what? When that pass goes up close to the net, I am going to commit on Parker up comeback, and I'm going to be up there waiting for him. Oh, what a great serve again by Sador this time. A good pass by Pepperdine, and Josh Taylor ends the run. Still, Hawaii up by seven. It'll be four serving 11. Back to do the honors will be Parker Kalmbach. Kalmbach floats it over. Ramos setting it up out of the backside. Book Sador, and Sador just keeps on coming. He now has 11 kills for Hawaii. Siki Sarkovich with 14 to lead all hitters. Nobody in double figures tonight.